Okay, guys, here we go. Last two weeks of October. This is the bi-weekly Bodhi Tarot reading for Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in love, money, and career. Okay, here we go. Earth signs. Last two weeks of October. Oh, it's always too many cards. Okay. Give us a card for money. for career one card for career please for the earth signs oh boy okay two cards came out for love so you're lucky there all right so for love we have judgment and the king of wands second card for money we have page of wands Third card for career, the tower. Okay, so in love, <sighs> judgment is something, you're assessing something, you're thinking about something, you're thinking about a situation in love, um, something that you're hoping goes your way. The King of Wands, you may be dealing with a fire sign, uh, specifically a Leo, um, or this is just the energy of the King of Wands, which is to express yourself and take the lead. could also mean that if you're assessing something, it's within you. It just means it's within you. Let's get a couple more, another clarifier down there and see what else we can see for love for the earth signs. One more card, please. Oh, there it is. Magician. So whatever it is you're wondering about or, or trying to get to go your way or hoping goes your way, some sort of assessment, need to express yourself and this is the magician your other clarifier which means you have all the tools you need to manifest what you want as far as this assessment goes so if it's a situation in love that you want to go your way you're best off to express yourself and have confidence because you're the magician you can do it you can make it happen. All right, on to money. Your card for money was Page of Wands. So Page of Wands is, uh, pages are messengers, and this is good news or news coming to you. Let's get another card down there. One more card, clarify the Page of Wands, please. Please clarify the Page of Wands. Woo! All right, communication, what I say, news. So I don't know what's happening in money for the for the uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn people, but something's gonna go fast. There's good news and it's coming in quick. It's moving forward. This is Eight of Wands is communication. I'm like drawn in here. Here's another card. So whatever this is, you've been waiting for a while, and you're you know this is the Nine of the Nine of Wands is this is. Um, Resilience, you know, you're a little beat up, but you're still standing and um, whatever this information is, obviously you've been waiting for a while, but it's coming now regarding money. All right, the tower for career. You guys, I'm so sorry. The tower can be something, oh, I, I think of it as a lightning strike, bang. <laughs> One minute everything's fine, and then you have the tower. Kaboom. So something's coming out. There's going to be a truth revealed at work, and it's... Everything comes crashing down, but everything is out in the open. Um, everything is revealed for all to see. Well, we'll get another card down there for you and see if we can figure out just exactly what that is coming towards you. Ah! Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries. 
uh, Queen of Wands energy. Um, this could be I, I, Queen of Wands are typically leaders. Um, so if this is, this could be the Queen of Wands. The, the Queen of Wands here is reversed. So this is like blocked energy. Um, the Queen of Wands is typically a, a leader and forward thinking and great with other people and and um, but I think what's happening here is some sort of energy has been blocked. Let's get another clarifier. Oh, okay. So the Three of Cups reversed is there's some possible affair that's gone too far or something's gone too far. This is overindulgence. So somebody overindulged and um, it could be within Aries, folks. And here's the tower. Whatever it is, comes out in the open. All right, time for Oracle cards. Yikes. Give us an Oracle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oracle card for the last two weeks of October for the Earth signs. Earth signs, last two weeks of October. Give us a card for this reading. There it is. Oh, oh, guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So... I don't know what happened, guys, to hear. Did you have too much to drink at the office party? <laughs> this uh, Three of Cups is also, you know, again, overindulgence. Could have had too much to drink. Just saying. Okay. So, that money stuff is exciting, though. I'd love to hear your comments. Okay, folks, like, share, and uh, leave me comments. And if you'd like a private reading, contact me at pthaggett at hotmail.com. And we can talk about this situation. Thank you.